Hello everyone, I am so excited to bring you this next partnership with Epic Cosplay Wigs. Today we're going to be styling the NYX wig in the shade Classic White. This is my take on a Jiraiya cosplay. Um, so we're going to start off by sectioning off our wig. Now, uh, because we're going to be doing some big spikes on this, we want to add a little bit of volume. I just happen to have a few leftover white wefts. Um, so I'm going to take those and just hot glue them starting about halfway up through the wig. Now, the wig is actually nice and dense and you don't really need too many. I probably added about 10 wefts and again, you can do it without that, but we do want a little bit more volume in the wig. So I'm just going to go in and hot glue these in onto the elastic bands around the wig. Now you can also sew these in using a clear thread or white thread, which is probably a better way to do it. but. I've never had a problem with hot gluing. You just need to be very careful. One, that you don't burn yourself, and two, you don't drip hot glue into the strands of hair in the wig. Now, once we've got one row down, you're just going to drop the rest of the wig down and then go back in and add another row. Okay, once everything is added in, we're just gonna go through with a flat iron and get those two um, sets of strands mingled together. All right, so I've placed my Hitiate on top of my wig head just so I can place out my spikes. I'm using small black rubber bands, and then what I also did was go in and cut off any excess hair that's going to weigh down our spikes. So we're gonna start off with our first section right in the middle. So you're gonna take a rat tooth comb and section off very a very fine amount not too much um, but what we're going to do is we're going to tease the majority of that spike but we do want a layer of smooth hair so that way we can cover up the rat's nest that we're making underneath so you're just going to go in and back comb that hair with your comb we're not adding any hairspray in yet because we don't want this to be permanent until we're absolutely sure we know where this spike is going to be headed so you're going to take that um spike and see so you, don't, you don't even need hairspray once you've back combed it it'll stand up completely on its own I am going to take my hair dryer and grab that smooth section of hair and just use some heat to train it so that way it stays straight up along with our spike at this point we're going to go back in with our comb and smooth any of the hair that is not covered by that outside portion of hair once we have the wig spike where we want it to go we're going to go in with some hairspray you're gonna spray your spike, shape it to where you want it to go, and there you have it. Um, it's also good to go back in with a little bit of heat. You can take your hair dryer and train that spike a little bit further with a little blast of heat. Here we go in with another section that I'm gonna show you basically the same steps. So you're gonna take off the front portion of that spike, go in with your comb and back comb, And you're just going to continue to shape that spike how you want it to go. So again, it's just a combination of sectioning, back combing, blasting some heat, adding some hairspray once it's exactly where you want it to go, and then heating it again. Here's another angle of how we are continuing to go back in and back combing our hair. I'm just gonna continue this all around your wig.
You can see here this chunk of hair was actually a little bit too long so I just took my scissors and chopped off the part that was weighing down my spike. So I had some additional hairspray to the ends of the spike along with some heat to continue to shape that. And then what I like to do is once everything is set and placed where you want it to go, go back in with some clear tacky glue and add it to the tip of every spike. Now if you need to continue to shape your spike, don't be afraid to go back in with scissors. Next what we're going to do is do a little bit more backcombing to give a little bit more of a wild, unkempt appearance. I don't want to spike the whole wig, but I do want it to add a, a little bit more texture and volume throughout the rest of the wig. So what we're going to do is section off some of the wefts and do some more backcombing so that way our wig has some more volume. We'll add some heat. And then you're going to smooth those top layers down over the parts that you've backcombed. A little bit more volume up towards the crown. Just take a smooth layer and section it out of the way. And then take the row of weft underneath and then you're going to backcomb that to give yourself the volume. Add a little bit of hairspray and our all favorite heat. You want to pull it up so that way the wig hair will want to stay in the direction that it's heated in. Once that's done, you're going to smooth that hair over top and you have additional volume on the back of your wig. Next, we're going to go in with some alcohol based markers. I have a light shade of gray that I'm going to use to add a little bit more dimension. Um, it helps the wig look a little bit more realistic as well too. So we've got a very light shade of gray and we're just going to take that along the root of the wig hair on our spikes and again throughout the rest of the wig as well too. This is an optional step but I really feel it does add a little bit more dimension and interest to the wig itself. You can see here it does add some nice shadow to the wig and make the spikes look a little bit more pronounced. Once that's all said and done, our spikes are where we want them. We're going to take our clear tacky glue and add it to the tips of all of our spikes. And that is basically our finished look. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Uh, stay tuned for a cosplay review as well as a makeup tutorial for this look. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone!